yeah so viewers uh, welcome all okay this is uh, uh this is our last time yeah in in the season 1 for the grand masters webcast we are trying we have a eminent panel which we are going to discuss about how any trade share uh, in the rural areas uh, just give a minute i'll just mute some microphones so because um, there is noise okay so we are going to discuss about how to penetrate chess in the rural areas and we have an established panel uh, before i begin i'll just introduce you to the panel uh, to everyone um, first i'll begin with uh, the person um, who is is most important to this discussion is uh, right hand corner mr vijay deshpande he is all india chess federation secretary honorable secretary he is also an fide instructor um, anybody who has played chess in marathwada he uh, people knows his contribution in developing chess uh, in the marathwada region as well as encouragement of the uh, people so we were one of the in the school days we remember how uh, vijay sir has encouraged us to play on the state or national so the vijay is going to uh, put the light on um, what are the chess um, federation policies or schemes for the rural areas um, then we have uh, the second person uh, who is uh, raghunandan gokhale sir um, raghunandan gokhale sir in the chess fraternity um, everybody knows that he is um, a dronacharya award winner from uh, the indian government um, he is also a chess um, champion from maharashtra he is also a second in the um, british chess championship and he has created uh, multiple grand masters like bhakti kulkarni or even coached vidhi gujarati so there are uh, many other names to the his list and um, he'll uh, add a dimension about how the chess coaches should be in in the rural areas and what need to be done um third we have uh, manish bansal um uh, manish is is a very enthusiastic entrepreneur and he holds of uh, two of the biggest of the um, current magazines like knowledge review who is actually um, our media partner for this event uh, manish is um, uh, the founder and the owner of the knowledgereview.com as well as insight success and he also has a software company is also has a bpo company so there there are multiple uh, things that manish owns and um, um, they are have knowledgereview.com has a circulation more than 400 500 universities across um, india and um, they definitely encourage uh, the chess via their magazine outlet and he is going to put forward a media uh, point of view to this discussion Uh, we have a uh, rohit lalwani who is a director for avantika university avantika is is a group of um, mit institutions and rohit has as a diverse experience of um uh, entrepreneurship as well as leading as well as um, a teacher and he he has his own podcast uh, rohit is the known voice as well as influencing voices many many of um, um, have heard so he is going to bring about that school and institution perspective that how much uh, a uh, school and the uh, institution or the education um side of the things um, to the chess and and the finally we have vinit bhat who is a um, uh, student of iit bombay there is a institution or there is a small club called dark horse and, and he leads that club in iit bombay is an enthusiastic chess, chess player we had a grandmaster webcast where we interviewed uh, more than 5 6 grand masters and we went live from iitb and vinit was instrumental in that okay so um uh, thank you very much uh, um, uh, to everyone uh, for finding their time and making this available uh, we all are doing this uh, so that uh, uh, chess should get some uh, uh, more voice or um, um, we we want to collect some ideas which we can definitely uh, Uh, throw towards um, all india chess federation let me begin uh, this uh, discussion uh, first by asking question which um, is there in everybody's mind that is a uh, question to vijay deshpande sir okay who is in all india chess federation uh, so vijay sir uh, first is if you can just uh, uh, elaborate us what are the current policies schemes um, any plans that chess federation has uh for uh, the rural area in india okay uh, the concern comes is all the grand masters are from tier 1 cities and, and it is often said that uh, area near to vishwanath anand chennai guntur they have more grand masters compared to marathwada maharashtra or gujarat or anywhere 
so there is an uneven kind of a um, education standard so first is if you can just today what are the plans for rural areas and we go in much more detail at a later stage also there is little uh, if you can just put some light on your face that will be yeah if you can open window that will help you here okay yeah yeah great yeah well i hope uh, everybody is uh, doing uh, well being safe yeah we are going through very tough time yeah. but we will definitely come out of it we have gathered here to discuss uh, chess training in rural area i also help from uh, rural area and uh, have been very close with uh, ground realities uh, uh, of uh, problems faced by uh, rural area people uh, chess players uh, chess parents so it bound me a humanitarian duty to help support everyone particularly uh, rural area uh, players in my opinion there is no scarcity of talent and hard work uh, in a uh, uh, rural area however we need to give them proper exposure as a secretary of aicf i want to assure you that we are very keen to start chess training in uh, rural area we are looking forward to give international uh, standards uh, software Uh, which will be very helpful uh, to give online uh, training to uh, players from rural area because uh, it is uh, uh, difficult uh, to reach uh, personally to every player and for uh, uh, play, uh, players uh, of standard uh, fourth uh, one to one means personal training is needed not a group or online chess training is effective for them so for primary school going players there is a need to give personal coaching which can be given only by coaches who stay in rural rural area so we should impart training to these people uh, tra trainers who are who have rating of uh, 1500 1600 and uh, uh, we have a plan to train these uh, trainers uh, from grand masters so that they will personally train them and for other players who 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 are above age of uh, 10 and 12 uh, for them uh, definitely online coaching is uh, very uh, will be very uh, Uh, prove useful in uh, india uh, gujarat is the first state uh, who started training uh, government has uh, taken initiative to start uh, training uh, chess training after that there is tamil nadu and after that uh, rajasthan is also uh, government is also giving uh, started chess as a syllabus and in okay. maharashtra we are trying And, okay. Uh, okay. So, Vijay sir, you are saying number one, you are trying to make the software available. Second thing, you are saying you are uh, trying to give a primary training. When you say you want to give the primary training, okay, is is uh, it like the uh, chess federation trainers are going into villages? How how it is making it um, making available? See, there are a lot of Facebook comments that are coming, Vijay sir. That light on your face is not good. So, we are getting Facebook comment from uh, the people. yeah yeah good yeah i think it is okay now yeah now 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 better yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah go ahead yeah so there are actually lot of players who have left uh, playing uh, left uh, their uh, tournament uh, playing uh, yeah. now and uh, they have yeah. engage their self in uh, giving training 
so okay. if uh, uh, there is our appeal to all such uh, coaches uh, okay who come ahead uh, to give their okay. services and aicf okay. will definitely uh, has a come plan okay okay Haan. okay so there are two things you have a plan for villages but if you want coaches to come forward who can go and coach in the rural areas okay okay fine that that is a good answer thank you very much i just want to bring in rohit at this stage because he is also involved in uh, schools colleges and running avantika university uh, rohit any 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 uh, initial thought you want to put on um, uh, this topic and and the answer given by vijay absolutely in fact uh, uh, you know virendra and uh, st panel and guess uh, mit as a group of institutions we moved in fact from being uh, located in a metropolitan city to actually moving to uh, you know in a village that is lekoda near ochen and uh, we believe that it's important to uh, get into an atmosphere a uh, create an atmosphere learning atmosphere where students can learn designing and thrive uh, in in their field uh, as far as you know chess uh, uh, you know uh, sensitivity to playing chess is concerned uh, i think for schools it is important to differentiate between extra curricular activities and co curricular activities for the benefits that an activity like chess provides in terms of the analytical thinking in terms of building up skills uh, skill sets like presence of mind how do you strategize how do you actually see uh, you know 20 to 20 to 25 steps further ahead that what could happen which is which is what strategists are are uh, supposed to be doing i think uh, chess coaching is not uh, meant to be an extra curricular activity but it's supposed to be a co curricular activity the other thing is um, yes uh, taking a cue from the current pandemic time uh, it is a tough time it is a challenge but i think uh, every point in time a tough time has given uh, opportunity for new innovations uh, out there and one such thing is obviously uh, learning online something that all of us took uh, you know for granted as a, a, an, an activity which was available today uh moving on to the only activity or funnel you know which is available so i think that is that's beautiful and uh using technology we would be able to penetrate in rural market um uh, to you know sensitize uh young minds in terms of uh chess as an activity using that as an activity to build themselves to build their thought processes their personalities which would help them in due course of time Uh, okay thank you very much rohit i think rohit has said a um, uh, couple of very important point he is saying not an extra curricular but it's a co curriculum activity another point he is saying that chess should be used to build an analytical ability so i think those two are very important points okay um, uh, that chess can be more made as a co curriculum just like history science or anything if we can push that chess need to be included in the syllabus to just to develop an analytical um, ability i i think that's very important i'll i'll just bring in the coach um, ragunandan sir and manish okay ragunandan sir initially uh, what are your thoughts about because you have coached so many people as well as grandmasters um, um can you give how this can be approach vijay said they, they they are looking for coaches to go in rural areas is there any other um, idea you have or some thoughts you want to put on the coaching side Uh, I have got uh, good ideas uh, are there with Vijay. So just uh, he needs uh, some corporate or government backing. Okay. And uh, one thing very important is government backing. What happened is uh, few years back chess was one of the A grade games. Now it is uh, degraded to C category. Hmm. So uh, the chess camps are stopped. Otherwise, you could go go to Patiala or some other uh, uh, where Sai centers are there, and coaches can coach go and coach there, and uh, the students also get all the benefits of government uh, allowance, travels, etc., etc. Now, chess has been degraded to C category. Even oh. Arjuna awards and uh, Dronacharya awards are getting difficult for 
deserving players and coaches. So first thing is government. Uh, okay. We have to ask them to upgrade this. So automatically uh, it will go to uh, rural areas. But second point is you have to uh, fetch grandmasters to rural areas for uh, simultaneous displays. It will uh, awaken awareness among the crowd because a person playing against 20 people, players at a time, it is something uh, very astonishing for a common man who is not a chess player. So it will create a lot of awareness in rural areas. Second thing Rohit has said, uh, that chess has got so many benefits. I, I would like to inform you that there was an experiment uh, done in uh, Zaire. And Zaire is, as you know, African country and very backward. So what they picked up, when in jungle, they picked up some school where they divided uh, 100 students among 50, 50, uh, equal strength. And thereafter, they started coaching chess to one group and other was kept away from chess. And within six months, they found out the children who were learning chess, they had made astonishing progress in mathematics, science, and uh, geography. Because chess has improved them so, so much. And this yeah. fact, if you let uh, others know, even in rural areas, then they will, the schools will be ready to take up chess as uh, co-curricular activity because chess has got so many benefits then uh, we don't have uh, as vijay has pointed out uh, we don't need a grandmaster to go to the level and teach chess because it is okay. rest of their time but uh, we can train the uh, children or even uh, coaches uh, yeah. who are already available there there are so yeah. many old chess players who are there let them go to their school nearby and teach. Like that, uh, you can go ahead. Yeah, okay. I think there are a couple of important points made that chess is degraded. We have some um, enthusiastic uh, follower. Of, his name is RDX Rho. She is also asking on the Facebook why the chess was degraded to see. Okay. And um, uh, see, the other part is uh, one is you are saying it is degraded to see. Second part, you are saying there is no enough government backing. Third is you're also briefly saying corporate backing also to be there. And fourth is you're lying with Rohit when he says that um, it should be co-curriculum. So you're also supporting um, um, that, that, that. Okay, I, I think we have four or five important points here that it should be co-curriculum, it should be government back, the grading from C should be improved. And I'll go to the one of the important pillar of this um, chess promotion, which is media. And um, Manish does uh, as a, a huge work in the media side from knowledgereview.com, where uh, he's our media partner. So Manish, can you throw some light that how much you yeah. cover chess in magazines and how what uh, some of your ideas to promote chess uh, get into the rural ideas areas? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, first of all, hello to everyone. All my friends as well. Okay, actually, I would like to throw on light that there is a media story in 2017. There is a one uh, village in Kerala, the name is uh, Maro Chetal Village. Okay, in this village, everyone is very alcoholic or very drug addict kind of things over there. Okay, then someone introduced in this village as a chair. Okay, and the entire uh, phenomena of village has been changed. There is almost 4,000 to 6,000 person playing chess on the daily basis. And that story is covered by the big media and the, the spread the, uh, throughout the world. So that story we always need as a media. So we need to, if there are any stories happening in the any play and a rural area, we will need to cover on the priority basis. And it's our duty to spread around the world. So this, uh, this, this kind of things we can do. Also, I have one idea. Uh, on the rural area, we know because earlier there was not kind of um, amenities like uh, Wi-Fi, social pages. But now everybody is getting engaged in the social pages. Wi-Fi is there. Even there are a couple of places who are 100% hotspot are there. Yeah. Okay, so what we can do? Uh, we can do like we can. Uh, there is one concept of rural influencer marketing. For that, mm -hmm. we can invite uh, like a serpent or teachers, social mm -hmm. workers, 
and local bodies who have some kind of interest in chat we can okay. invite them on a social pages or media and okay. we can ask them to like you can call to the local bodies who have okay. interest in and first of all we have to understand what chess will help in our mind strategy how chess will help in the physics wise mental like mentally how it will improve our mental stage as well if you will circulate if you will invite them the big like on the social pages like serpent then they will speak and everybody have to listen it so this kind of strategy we can follow so media will definitely help in covering these stories yeah, yeah okay so i i i think there's an interesting point of view from manish he narrated a story and later on he is saying um uh, the mental state also at the local bodies like sarpanch and all others need to be or all the local ruler people should be given a footage or the space on the media social media where that that can be taken forward and he's also talking taking about uh, talking about the mental state anyway we have um, another important uh, person with us is vinith is a student of iit bombay um he is uh, that um, iit bombay dark cause they are also conducting a um competition from 20th of july vinith uh, you play chess you are leading that initiative uh, in iit bombay for chess uh, you and your friends um can you tell uh, some of the it's hurdles of the ruler student or what the of the others yeah, another uh, yes so uh, so i personally know a lot of my juniors and seniors who have been introduced to chess after coming to the institute and uh, they had no idea about the game about how the pieces are moved or anything related to chess before they came to the institute so i feel that uh, a lot of them took up the sport in their first years and then they started developing and then they realized that they are good at it but uh, since we are burdened with a lot of a uh, uh, lot of work in the institute itself uh, nobody tries to pursue the sport ahead so i feel that if in the rural areas like it was mentioned that uh, if at an early stage if uh, people are introduced to the game and th- and those people who actually have a lot of interest and a keen outlook in the game if they are exposed to uh, good strong players as their coaches at their early stages i think that will definitely help uh, that will definitely help them uh, start learning and start uh, competing at a higher level uh, in, in the starting of their uh, careers okay so you are saying uh, good coaches at the early stages of the career can really make a difference in the uh, students life okay um uh see as as we are um, uh, approaching half of our time i'll, I'll just narrate a one minute story okay there is a zen master and uh, this zen master teaches uh, concentration and awareness to their students and um, he taught one um, uh, his students and the student and teacher got departed after uh, the coaching complete and he went to meet his um, teacher after 10 years the moment he went to meet his teacher after 10 years um he kept uh, there was a rainy season he went to teacher's house and teacher said did you keep the umbrella at the door he said yes and the second question they said did you keep the umbrella on the right hand side or the left hand side of your shoes and the the person who has actually learned this then who learns the concentration and awareness just looked at it and uh, thought that uh, probably he need a one more round of zen um, coaching and his even his master said even if you start playing games like chess still you will retain your um, concentration and awareness in the zen they say that everything happens in the present tense and everything that happens need to be stored uh, for that particular movement need to be stored so the question of the teacher is whether the umbrella is right hand side or left hand side should be immediately answered and you need to have that much awareness and remembrance of things are happening and the zen teacher said you don't need to go to comprehensive course but you can still play games like chess and and develop your awareness much sharper and probably you will develop so uh, there are many uh, philosophies or many teachers have uh, uh, taken uh, chess as um, as as their base uh, to um, to enhance the capabilities um, whether it could be awareness whether it could be a decision making whether it could be a, a leadership and others i'll I just go to uh, the few more aspects of uh, this panel discussion because we have spoken about uh, uh, co curriculum we have said that mindset 
we have uh, Vijay sir even said they 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 have plans that people can go. Let let's um, uh, let's uh, uh, go on to the other area where Manish has briefly touched on the mindset and capability and what difference it can make to an individual. So Vijay sir, uh, there are two three things you have seen so many chess player, okay. Uh, and the bringing chess to the rural areas, okay. We have seen the chess players who are in the state or um, in the in the national level, okay. Uh, the one of the another part is, uh, do you think the language Marathi, Hindi, English, okay, is 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 not a barrier for chess? But is is there um, any any other idea with the chess federation that to start a chess school or the chess board or the chess university? Or, or some some kind of uh, initiative no at this moment uh, there is no plan to start a chess school or a chess university but uh, definitely literature we need uh, literature uh, books and uh, uh, worksheets which can be uh, provided to players yeah in easy uh, easy language and uh, in easy style i uh, i remember one book of uh, bobby fisher he yeah. was a world champion and uh, yeah. in his book he has given only on every uh, page there is a one problem and answer okay. is to uh, next uh, and uh, uh, very easy but very informative uh, problems and which uh, Help a lot. So, if we create such type of literature, uh, that will be very uh, useful for particularly uh, rural area people, where uh, uh, no need of more words, but only uh, that uh, chess board and that problem. Okay. So, uh, Raghunandan also know that uh, Bobby Fisher uh, teaches chess. Yeah, uh, yeah. That book, uh, I was very yeah. impressed, and I also use this uh, book for giving training so such type of uh, initiative should be taken um, okay, and okay we are now planning that. okay so you're saying the simple uh, chess or the chess uh, made easy kind of a books need to be available to the rural areas uh, you also need volunteers okay is there any plan that you want to conduct a quarterly tournament in some villages or some some kind of a plan or does the village people come to location like Aurangabad? What is current participation of rural people in your tournaments? Uh, nowadays, uh, players from uh, various uh, talukas uh, definitely come to participate in uh, district level. Okay. You know? uh -huh. And uh, in uh, some talukas are now activated. Uh, so. Okay. Uh, rural area, a uh, lot of people. I tell you one uh, taluka in Aurangabad that is Kulamri. Uh, there, uh, uh, before this uh, lockdown, there was uh, two tournament. Uh, there was one tournament okay. in which uh, more than 100 uh, participants from rural area participated, and in mm -hmm. another uh, next tournament also part, uh, more than 100 player, uh, players uh, participated. So the okay. participation from uh, rural area is uh, now improving, huh. Uh, huh. but uh, there is a need to, that arbiters should go there and uh, teach them uh, pairing uh, and yeah. uh, and uh, for that uh, in lockdown uh, period, all Marathi Chess Association, this, hmm. which is the state association in Maharashtra, huh. has yeah. uh, started arbiters arbiters seminar okay uh, so uh, already two uh, already two seminars were over and from today there is a third seminar started okay. and uh, i think uh, uh, 70 play, uh, 70 arbiters have taken uh, uh, certificates uh, from uh, this uh, seminars oh, and okay. uh, most of the uh, most of the arbiters new arbiters uh, passed out the, from this seminar are from uh, uh, rural area. Uh, rural okay. area. So I am sure. Huh, I am sure they will definitely go in their uh, uh, rural uh, area and they will take uh, tournaments. Okay. 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 And uh, okay. Fine. So um, I'll come to Rohit, sir. 
Okay, Rohit sir, um, uh, you spoke about the co-curriculum and university aspect. Do you think that uh, uh, making chess mandatory will help or uh, let it be optional? Or do you think there are uh, more competitions instead of of held, holding a Pune region, let's go to 200 kilometer away from Pune in some village and have a competition there. Uh, kind of uh, thing will help. So uh, before I answer that, I I would want to comment on you know certain mm -hmm. conversations that are happening and mm -hmm. whether it's a, a A graded game or C grade game and, and and stuff like that. I think um, as individuals we expect the government and someone else to do a lot about it. I think as people who are enthusiasts about the game, as people who like something, it is important to come together and develop community and start taking up the ownership of developing some of these things on our own. Uh, let's take an example today that if you talk about uh, pro kabaddi, if you talk about cricket, if you talk about football for that matter of fact, some of these things also became famous. Media got its attention. There was there was certain kind of uh, you know fanfare attached to it, and, and all of those things. And probably that is also what affects the rating, which never happened with chess. Whereas we know the benefits of uh, chess as a game. The other example that I would want to bring um, is rubric. Uh, you know the, the rubric cube, and there are so many classes, so many sessions, so many Olympiads that actually take place around that game. I think what is important is all of us to have a mindset that let's go out and build that community. Let us all within our universities, within our schools, within our locality, start organizing some of these things rather than expecting the government to, uh, to, to look at it, uh, you know, with an immediate effect. And in due course of time, obviously, once the community is large, once the activity uh, 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 is 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 huge. Um, obvious, you know. It's it's obvious for the government officials, for for a lot of other leaders, uh, it, it, you know, to take that up. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was referring to the Rubik's cube. Uh, so, uh, so I think the community-based approach is very very important, and I think we uh, we must uh, bring a community-based approach to chess. Uh, I learned chess uh, quite late, uh, like Vineet said, that only after, um, you know, students joined IIT Bombay, uh, they, they landed up joining the club and got introduced to it. I did it after, uh, you know, uh, maybe at the age of 32, 33, where I would go with, uh, you know, uh, go and learn chess at a class with, you know, really uh, young kids. And it was a beautiful experience, I think, as, as a professional. It, it uh, gave me peace. It allowed me to plan better. It allowed me to focus at my work better. It, it was an extremely good uh, value addition and skill development activity for me. All of this happens when we are talking about community. I think if we keep depending upon the government agencies or a federation to keep taking these initiatives and grow it, uh, it will, it, you know, we will always get uh, uh, you know, squeezed into a lot of uh, unnecessary conversation. And now, Virendra, coming back to, uh, you know, what you are saying, that is it possible to have this as a part of the course curriculum itself? Uh, I personally believe uh, that there are too many stakeholders involved and that may not happen. However, uh, schools definitely have uh, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, schools as well as colleges uh, yeah. have been given the leverage to conduct some of these activities, which is beyond the academic session, right? And then uh, in, in those activities, I think it is important to uh, introduce uh, this game. We already see that there is football, there's enough emphasis on skating, uh, there's enough emphasis of swimming. I think this is also something uh, that we need to bring in uh, as a focus at school area. Probably one of the reasons why it is not done is because not enough sensitization or awareness is available among people. Uh, the second is not enough uh, good coaches are available, uh, you know, with these schools. And, and, and that's why the penetration is comparatively lower. But my answer to addressing all of this is to go the community way, which will, which will address 
all these issues uh, simultaneously. Okay, okay. I, I think that is a, a very interesting perspective that Rohit sir has come up with. He says develop a community. I, I think rightfully I, I, I agree with him that we probably need to get uh, enthusiastic around and uh, get the community uh, build who could raise a voice. Okay, there are people like Vijay sir or even Raghunandan sir who are constantly with it. If we get some community voice uh, which could go and then later on enthusiastic and which put the burden on government to change the grading and all. Okay, see another part is, um, uh, see Manish sir, there are constant competition that Vijay's um, organization is doing, uh, Raghunandan sir and other IITB are taking. Is there any way that uh, just like cricket, whatever happens, it comes, okay? Uh, is, is there any portion of your media or, or your magazine? Currently, you devote to chess or, or no, it's just a sport and only Vishwanathan Anand and others get um, space in your uh, magazine. Yes, yes. Uh, definitely, um, as a media, we definitely we can help. Okay, I, first, first of all, I completely agree with Rohit. As Rohit is said, like, see, First of all, we have to understand what chess can do in our personal life as well as our professional life. Okay, so if we will uh, make a session by our media industry, our, our platform, definitely we can spread awareness about the chess. Because in the local area, in the ground level, nobody knows what kind of what chess can help in the personal as well as professional life. So we can write our blogs, articles, or make a, that kind of campaigning on the chess and circulate. Particular we can do campaigning in the local area itself, local campaigning by our social platform. Also, I must suggest one more, one more suggestion from my side because I uh, like last year itself I put chess board in my office. Okay, yes. then I observe everybody in break time playing chess. Okay, even like who don't know he's trying to learn the chess. So my suggestion is that if he will put the chess board in the local schools because I never seen chess in the school. If you have government or as a authority wise, as a senior wise, as a school manager or management wise, if you will put chess board because there is not too much cost for the chess board. If you will mandatory put five set or six ten set in the school, then definitely one day everybody will try to learn. Oh, okay. okay. So as a media wise, we can write more articles, more campaigning mm -hmm. and more awareness session, we can spread by our social channels, magazines that we can do. So from from next month you'll start your magazine will cover small competitions of villages definitely if at all it comes right yeah first of all we will write some article on the chess like how chess will help in a personal or professional life then we will understand ki that the article is like who is reading the article and we try to figure out ki the article should be reached to the, the, the ground level because yeah. that is a person who don't know chess and the person will understand what kind of what chess can help yeah. then we will cover to the big big player from the grandmaster to take an interview in our magazine. Okay. So we'll call them any grandmaster who can come our magazine and can take a can help a interview session. Okay. Okay. Kind of yeah, thank you very much, Manish. Yeah, I, I think those are um, very valuable ideas. The another part I want to come to you, Raghunandan sir, is there is something that uh, Vijay and you constantly saying is we don't need grandmasters to coach to village players. Okay, there is something called as a level. People play initial level, which is uh, district level. Then you have state level, and then they are going up uh, to national level. Okay, so uh, just tell me something about from your experience about this um, um, nurturing the national level kind of a mindset into your coaching. Okay, you're saying you definitely don't need grandmasters to go to villages, but at the same time we want some grandmaster to emerge from a village. Right. So, uh, how how to uh, bri uh, how to join this uh, bridge? Okay. And meanwhile, uh, there are people like uh, I think on the Facebook there is um, Shubham Bansal, uh, there is RDF Suroj, there is a lady called Aishwarya who are very active and uh, making comments about our discussion. So, thanks for them. Uh, so, um, uh, Raghunandan sir. Uh, so. Uh, first about uh, decategorization of uh, chess. One day some bureaucrat, uh, he decided chess is not in the Olympics. So let us uh, throw it out. Even though it is uh, ancient Indian game, its birthplace is in India, they decategorized it to C grade. 
and uh, the benefits uh, got uh, watered down. It's okay. Uh, now it is up to Vijay uh, to take up the matter with the uh, government of India. Uh, and now, uh, one more thing, uh, uh, what you are saying, huh, grandmasters. Grandmasters are uh, some elite people. So, uh, we sh what we can do, we can ask the local coaches to find the talent and then shift them to the grandmasters if they are really good. So that uh, the grandmaster's time won't be wasted in grooming the children who are maybe not interested after some time or they are not talented. I will give you an example of uh, uh, pioneer schools in USSR. At that time, it was USSR when I visited it. And at that time, uh, pioneer schools, they were picking up students from each and every uh, small province. And they were shifting them to Moscow for further coaching, if they are bright. Like that, we can do in our country also. And uh, we can provide them good education, good uh, uh, facilities, good coaching. And Chase, uh, Chase has got another benefit. Manish was ask, uh, telling something. I will add further that if you know some of the grandmasters who migrated from uh, USS, Russia to USA, they are working with the share market there, either oh, individually yeah. or with some firms. So yeah. that, that shows that Chase has got uh, that ability which they can use in uh, regular uh, domestic or any professional work also. Even uh, housewives can use that to uh, keep their children. One more thing, in Ujjain, uh, he was referring Rohit. I had a camp for rural coaches in Indoor some 15, 20 years back. And it was through Hindi because they did not understand perfect English. The coaches, they were older to me, but they were so much enthusiastic. And Madhya Pradesh Chess Association at that time, they had done this. We had a 15 uh, day camp. They were very happy. I was very happy to teach them through Hindi. My Hindi also got improved. But uh, uh, those people, they spread a lot of chase in Madhya Pradesh. Then it got divided into both MP and Chhattisgarh and all. Then there were some changes in uh, their hierarchy in Madhya Pradesh Association. But the current secretary was one of uh, my students in that camp. So he can take over. Uh, chess coaching in rural areas. If MP can do it, why not others? Okay, okay. I, I think you're giving the example of state and the other part, um, I, I probably lost the connection for a minute, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, so the part that you said was, uh, we need to send expert coaches to villages. We don't need grandmasters. And once their level is up, we can utilize this. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I think just to lighten up conversation, um, I'll, I'll just tell a one and a half minute story, you know, there are there are two small people who were playing in the village and um, one of them fell into the well. OK, um, now what happens is there are nobody around. OK, and um, how to save his friend. The person takes the rope and um, take the one is seven year old, other is eight year old. The person who is fallen in the well has more weight than the person who is outside so that uh, one person puts the rope and pulls the other guy up. They came back in the village and start telling the story that uh, my friend was in a well and I saved him. Okay. See, the thing is, uh, half of the village doesn't believe, but one old man, like um, all wise men, start believing it, saying that, yes, this man could pull the the other man. Okay. The seven-year-old uh, thinner guy has pulled the eight-year-old guy out of the well only because he believed that he could do it. Okay, and there was nobody at that point in time who could tell him that you couldn't do that. Okay, and, and and eventually that person was found out to be a very good sportsman of chess and the other games who says that uh, I learned that uh, never give up. Okay, so th th there are stories and examples where people have learned to believe and not to give up from uh, uh, from chess. Okay, now I, I just want to take... Um, um, some of the um, closing comments from each one of you. Okay, so we'll um, uh, 
uh, begin from Vijay sir. Vijay sir, if you want to give the um, closing comments about how to develop the rural um, uh, uh, area for the chess, what would you like to say? Uh, well, I am fully agree with uh, Raghunandan that uh, we should take uh, help of uh, grandmasters uh, as a simultaneous uh, uh, game uh, with uh, rural area people. So they will um, go to rural area once in a month or uh, uh, less or more. And uh, we will give um, good softwares so that yeah. online training can be given to uh, about 10 year uh, players. Yeah. And uh, uh, this uh, Vinit Bhatt and uh, his institution, they are very talented uh, students. Uh, if uh, they come with some good plan, uh, so AICF will definitely uh, work on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fine. Vinit, I think you didn't got chance after the first, okay? So you can take me much longer if you want to. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, so actually, I would like to add to what Rohit uh, sir said. So, we, so IIT Bombay believes in uh, giving a wholesome education experience to the students rather than just focusing on academics. So what we have introduced is that uh, in the first years, uh, students are given a one year long uh, training in under the National Sports Organization of India wherein they are introduced to one sport that they have an interest in. So, of course, chess is also a part of this. And we have an international master from Mumbai who coaches around 20 people and introduce them, introduces them to the game as well as uh, teaches them uh, up to an intermediate level after which they can decide if they want to take up the sport and ultimately become a part of an inter IT team. Secondly, uh, so my club, that is the Dark Knight Chess Club of IIT Bombay, so uh, we have started a lot of online tournaments. Uh, when the lockdown started, we realized uh, we uh, realized that this is an opportunity for uh, chess to grow as a community because online chess can be well utilized uh, to uh, for everybody to play uh, sitting at their home. So we have started this initiative called as the Quarantine Chess Battles, where we have inter-university tournaments uh, across around 30 to 35 institutions, not only in India, but also Singapore, Australia, South Africa and other countries. So we have started this and uh, we have around 1500 people who have played in this initiative. We have six editions of them. So I believe that uh, in this way, a lot of the people are staying connected to the game. They are there in their hometown. They are they probably do not have a lot of interaction with uh, their batchmates, but through the uh, spirit of chess and through playing chess online, they have a very good interaction with players of their institutes as well as uh, other uh, students in the institute. So I feel uh, this is something that we had started. And uh, if we could get some support from other, uh, from Chess Federation as well as other organizations uh, in helping us reach the event to the correct crowd, I think that will give a big boost to chess culture, especially in the students. Yeah, I think Vijay, yeah. definitely, Vijay, definitely, you can reach out to Vijay, he'll definitely help you out uh, yeah. in your yeah. Actually, they conduct a lot of tournaments uh, IIT Bombay, and we always uh, support them. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. See, there are a couple of uh, discussion that is happening on the Facebook. One is uh, maybe Swaminathan, she's saying chess is not about just concentration. It gives younger generation to make analytical and logical reasoning before making a discussion. There is Pooja Bansal who is actively commenting on it about marketing point of view and um, uh, the structure to penetrate the rural area. There is RDS uh, Roosh who says that there needs to be a structure for the marketing in the rural areas. They are saying you need to have a structure like an organization which need to market stuff in the rural areas. It just can't be done with, with uh, without much of the marketing. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll come to Rohit sir if you want to sum up your... Uh, uh, comments. Uh, yeah. So I think what uh, RDX, Puja, some of you are mentioning, these are outcome of the game. And the objective of the conversation is how do we build awareness among rural area? Because apart from the limited uh, awareness that exists in metropolitan city, I think the, the difference between the rural area and a metropolitan city like a Mumbai Pune is that there isn't an access to 
uh, information, knowledge, content, resources of even if I wish to learn chess, how do I do or do I even know chess as a game? And I think uh, today, if we if we talk about the current pandemic time that uh, you know we are into, we've realized that today the communities have come forward and uh, you know built in a lot of awareness. In fact, like Vineet mentioned, that how uh, IIT Bombay emphasizes on the um, uh, you know wholesome education experience at Avantika University when I took over as director for industry relations, we added that every week. You know, the, uh, another thing which is, uh, it, it might digress a little, but um, in academy and industry connection is something that has been spoken for decades. And and, uh, uh, and industry has come forward and said that, uh, you know, our students are not employable uh, because they don't have the necessary skill sets. And we said that, hey, there's so much which has been spoken about. Can we do something about it? So we ensured that every week, we bring in someone from the industry who would who would uh, you know translate their experiences their requirements their expectations and uh, ensure that there's certain skill set built among students can we start looking at the same for chess you know rather than uh, you know only uh, ensuring that their conversations i mean i am happy to collaborate with all sorts of people um, uh, the, the panel members the attendees who are here of how we could do it uh, you know, in in you know, at least to start with Avantika University, to start with uh, the MIT group of institutions in Pune, to start with the school that my uh, son goes to, to start with my locality, and let's start this. You know, uh, uh, I'm sure step by step, and we'll be able to create a bigger impact in due course of time. Yeah. Okay, I I, I think that's a uh, wonderfully summed up. That is is my um, taking action points that we we need to look for. Uh, in the future, and and that's great to look, uh, um, great to happen in in this discussion. I'll I'll go to Manish sir. So Manish, um, any how you sum up uh, uh, your discussion or any points that you want to? Yeah. yeah. Uh, earlier we haven't covered any kind of chess instruction with anyone. Okay. Yeah. So this time we learned that there, there are requirement of chess and like interactive person, that grandmaster person who can give us an interview. And we can spread that interview across the world by our yeah. social platform LinkedIn, so that everybody will aware about the chess and then try to learn chess and expect they can learn and implement the chess thing. So that we can do, we'll try to take a session, one to one session with the grandmaster and we'll okay. take an interview with them. Yeah, okay, fine. So, anything more, Raghunandan sir, you want to add to sum this up? Uh, no, I, I remember Mir Sultan Khan, the first ch international chess player of India. Yeah. And uh, he uh, was playing uh, Sir Umar Hayat Khan in mm. 1923. He found him playing under uh, some tree with other yeah. children. He yeah. taught him British rules of chess and yeah. uh, took him to England in 1929. Huh. There, he defeated even at that time's world champion Capablanca. Oh. Means uh, we have got so much talent in rural areas. Yeah. We need some Umar Hayat Khan yeah. uh, to notice them, to pick them up. That can yeah. only be done with uh, All India Chess Federation uh, to pick up these future uh, Sultan Khans from yeah. the rural areas so that the Indian chess can be richer. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I, I think we have got a very comprehensive views. Okay, we have even spoken that how chess could help individually in the mindset that he can get more confident, he can be more analytical skills, he can even be more aware. Then we we spoke about the schools and career, the how the schools can take it up. Then third part is as Rohit sir said, we we said about developing community also. Then as Vijay sir um, uh, spoken about that he has. Um, he has plans for rural areas and he need volunteers to come forward. He also spoke about the books that like Bobby Fisher kind of a books that are needed to generate more interest. Okay, then there is a Winnie who is putting um, together a student point of view that, okay, they are organizing a lot and um, they're trying to make it. And there is also a sections of students who know the chess early, who learn chess at IIT Bombay State. So that um, also and uh, 
uh, some, some help from the chess federation that that will happen and he keep conducting um, examinations there is other um, media point of view that manish put forward the village story as well as the, the um, his awareness about the chess and how they are uh, now want to bring chess uh, via his magazine to the community and ragunandan sir as um, he is uh, defined the difference between um, the various uh, levels of the chess players also in the initial discussion he spoke about the very important point which is a government grading which is like uh, a grade of government which has uh, to the chess game gone to see if the government and corporate support he also spoke about the um, the minds how it will help the players also on the um, how one state uh, like mp has done and other states can replicate so i think uh, we have covered almost all of the points that are needed and if we can take some action points that we can uh, just start um, uh, circulating it and start pushing more of the more schools just like if rohit sir said he'll start something at avantika university and then if we start pushing some schools and colleges to proactively promote chess i think that will be a good start or the great from uh, this panel discussion and um, on the uh, uh, facebook side i think we have been joined by bhakti kulkarni who finishes the bhakti with a grandmaster so uh, probably some comments that very nice discussion there is mitali patil and there are few others like amol patil and all other samin salgaonkar there are many people who are uh, saying that okay uh, it has been a very fruitful discussion okay so we will we'll put this uh, video later on to the youtube or uh, any other channel okay if anyone want to but um, anyways i think um, uh, chess is an excellent game it helps personal growth it will definitely help to the community growth as well as um, everybody so on that note i'll um, um, I'll, i'll just this um, close this panel discussion um, uh, thanks uh, uh, mani sir ragunandan sir vijay vinit so sir everybody thanks for making time from your busy schedule and um, as as they say that uh, we definitely have the uh, more power within us than the challenges that we face okay so on, on that quote I'll, i'll close this thank you very much thank you thank you everyone thank you virendra thank you everyone thank, thank, thank you everyone. thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think broadcast doesn't want to end.